Hey all, right, I brought you in at this point because there was quite a lot to do to this and my videos have been so long lately, <clears throat> I'm trying to keep it down to a minimum. And again, excuse my voice, I have got a cold. I got my husband to turn me two little finials, which I've had to finish off, so uh, don't judge his turning. <laughs> it's me. He just turned them, I've cut them off and made points on the end, as you can see, they're not very even. But anyway, it, they look all right. So that piece is going to go there, like that. That piece is going to get put on there with the, the little bit missing at the back. Obviously, once I've stained them. And I now have this piece to do, which I have put that piece of oak on there. Now, the grain's going across there. It is going across on this piece, but that's just got a bit of a, like a knotty type thing going in it. So it should look all right. I ended up cutting that out on my um, Dremel uh, Moto in the end. I thought about it, I thought it's oak, it is quite hard to get right. As you can see, it's not exact, but it's not that far off. I possibly just missed it a little bit here and there, but it'll be good enough. So what I've got to do now is sand the finish off this so I can stain it all down a bit. Right, what I've decided to do for this uh, finial, I'm going to just take these drawers out. Come on. Is for this one, I'm going to drill a small hole in there and there and us, there and there. Let's just hope I can get it central. So I think I'll go for this bit first. Oh, I'm plugged in. Hold on a minute. Oh, let's try and compensate for that. Right, that should be okay. Not too bad. Where's my piece? There it is. Uh, let's just give it a very light sanding. Just to take the colour down a little bit. And that's going to go on there like that. Well, not enough glue. It's a pretty little piece. I'll give it a wax and uh, put the drawers in. I'll show you. So a quick catch up. Um, you remember the Turnbull house? Well, I bought a new stand for it. I love the other stand, to be honest. But I just wanted something a little bit taller so I didn't have to keep bending down all the time. So that's the new stand which I think you'll agree is very nice. I just need a couple of handles, which I do have somewhere. I've just got to find them. <clears throat> so let's see how the little wash stand turned out. As you can see, this house is still reasonably empty, but um, yeah, we've got a few bits in there now. So anyway, there's the wash stand, back to the, uh, the point of being in here, as you can see. That's the new pieces there. I have to 
find something that would do as a little handle. It's nothing like the other one, but it's not too bad. It's had all its wax and polish. So now, one jiffy bowl. Whoop, come here, potty. And one little potty underneath. I think that looks rather splendid. So I hope you'd agree with its new little turned finials on top, uh, a new side, and a new drawer handle, and a good old polish. That looks pretty nice. Oh, and just to show you, here's where a few of the other pieces went. I put them on the dresser. I put them on this little stove that I'm just keeping for the moment. Beth had been unwell and Tobias decided to make her some homemade stew. Bless his little heart. Come on then, Snout. Let's get in the kitchen again. And use these nice veggies out of the garden and make a nice stew for Beth. There we go. What's in black bits? Oh, thanks for the lid there, Snout. Come on. Don't remember putting pepper in either. Oh, well, time will tell. Right, it should be cooked by now. Let's get it over. Get it over the table. There you go, Beth. You take a seat. There's a nice stew on the table. Enjoy. Mmm. Oh, maybe not. I think I'll give that to Snout. Oh, well, bye from Tobias. Exciting stuff. <laughs> and that's why I'm videoing, because obviously I wanted to open it with you. I have people who comment on a regular basis, and thank you so much for that. They're all of a similar ilk, what's in here. But there should be a, a handsome amount of them. These are looking very big, which has surprised me. Because they certainly didn't look that big on the pictures. These guys are dog tails. Oh, that is a, oh my goodness. That is a beauty, but isn't it big? It's a little bit big for a dog tails. That's more like a child's. I hope they're not all that big. I don't mind scale, like I say. I can, I can live with it, but that's just a little bit on the big side. What's it on the bottom? See, now I don't mind that being really big, just how things were, that is just lovely. Put these down here so we can see them as we're doing them. Right, so I've made the box to the side because it was kind of getting in the way. Mm, well, that's a bit of a suspect item because I have one similar that I painted black to it like a cold one. That's not mega old. So, we'll put that on there, not so good pile. Good pile, slightly oversized, but good pile. Well, that's one thing I didn't expect. A resin teapot. Not happy about that. It's very ornate and very nice, but I don't do resin. So, as you can imagine, I haven't been able to view these items. That's nice. Again, it's big, but it is very pretty. Enamelled on the inside. <laughs> uh, a bit too big. Indian brass type of stuff. Oh, that's very pretty. That's okay. It is still big, but it's obviously not as big as that. Oh, it's not far off, is it, actually? Hmm. Yeah, I should say far off. Hmm. Nice. Little jug, glass jug. No handle. Good or suspect? Mm, a little bit suspect. I think it's oldish. Glass jug with handle. Yep. Few chips to that. Nice, but again, I'm putting it there. Hang on, it's going to jump. It's a bit too big. The key. Well, hmm, suspect. <laughs> it's just a key. Right, those are all going there because they're too big. Let me just do that and then you can see. I'm just taking some of this to fit smaller. Otherwise, I'm going to start to feel like I've paid too much. And it does come off. Guess what? Suspect pile. That's a better one. That's nice. I can get away with that one. So, good pile. So, so far, suspect pile is as in like too big or not that old. As in that pile. Oh, that's lovely. Well, there you go. I like that one. Again, Welsh ladies. It's got something on the back. Something impressive. Ah, little trays. I like. 
that's possibly silver plate then. Possibly. So that's good. I like that. I like that one too. That's that's okay. So good pile. Oh, that's a deep dish. Tray. It's big, but trays, I think you can get away with big trays. That's fine. I like that. That's nice. I like that one too. That's very cute. Right, luckily, at the moment, we have more good items than we do suspect items. Guess what? It's been painted very nicely, but it's going in the suspect. Not of great age. Oh, now that is nice. I like that. That's cute. Mm, big again. But finds its way into a good pile. Indian brass, I remember my mum having this sort of stuff, even though you usually tell it's that type of thing. In fact, it might even say, oh, there you go, Indian on the bottom. <laughs> well, at least I was right. Definitely says Indian there, doesn't it? I'm going to put it on the good pile and hopefully I'll be able to find room for it. Hmm. Don't know about that one. It's going on the good pile. This is something I haven't got yet, so... Two very cute rolling pins. I like them. So, they get to go on the good pile. You'll have to excuse me today, I have got a bit of a cold and a bit of a ropey voice going on. Oh, that doesn't stop my excitement for new items. Although I'm kind of mixed feelings about this lot, to be honest. Um, that's pretty. Heavy. It'll be that type of Indian type brass stuff again, I would think. Good. Suspect. Good. Mm. Suspect. Not because it's not old, but just because I'm not sure how that's going to star wise fit in with everything I've got. Seems to be getting bigger. Little jug, not so little, old. It's on the good pile, but I think that's going to be too big. Oh, this one's nice. And it's not massive either. The Ashton Memorial Lancaster Park. Oh, that's very pretty. And whoever Gemma is. <laughs> I've not seen that one before, but I like the jug. That's definitely a winner. It'd be interesting to know if any of you have ever, ever bought stuff like this in the book and it's like, oh goodness me, it's not right, it's too big, it's too small, it's a bit ropey, but pretty massive. It's alright, it's probably old, but it's on that side because that's just too big. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a little cutter for a Christmas tree. I don't know. Uh, in between the two, because I'm not sure where it is or what I'm going to use it for, yeah? I have some of these. I think you can still buy them brand new now, so, yeah. In this particular case, yes, I can use it, but it's on the suspect pile because it's not old. But I did know that when I saw it. I was sure of that. Same with that. Like I say, I have one. As far as I'm aware, they're not very old. So, it goes on that pile. There is another piece to it somewhere. Get me this a bit. Yeah. And then, on that pile. It's suspect. Not rolled. So, we're not far off even Stevens here. Oh, that's cute. I'm looking at this through the camera, so you're seeing it for the first time as I am. Welsh again. Maybe somebody just visited Wales a lot. But that's good. That's a nice little size. That's probably... Let's have a look. And then it'll give you an idea of when I was saying the other stuff is. I don't mind big scale, but some stuff is just too big. That's nearly two inches. You see that? Good pile. But that little teapot there that is on the good pile, because I know it's old and it's lovely. But look at that. Two and a half inches. I'm still going to go my doll's house. I'll find somewhere for it, because I like it. Right, here we go. Now what does that say? Hmm, it's very odd. Odd little design, isn't it? Anyway, 
size wise it's alright mm, not so 100% sure that's so old but it's going on the good pile because I can use it well that's a nice little jug it's very um, primitive again one and three quarters it's going on the good pile I like it I'm trying, not, oh, I'm trying not to cover up the paints or smash them. Yep, again, I know that's not old. <laughs> I like it, actually. Even though that's suspect, I know it's not old. I'm going to paint that up and I will use it. So it can go with that piece there, which is in between the two piles. I can separate them a bit because I will use it. I'll paint it up. Oh, that's cute. And nice. No markings on the bottom. But that's a nice little jug. And that's quite that's quite small actually. By comparison to the rest. One and a half. Not high by all. That's a little um massive for one thing. They're for dolls, not doll houses. So nice. Cutely decorated. It's obviously been hand done. And I can't read that. But nice, I like that. I'll just give you a quick idea of the size. That's probably one of the smallest items to be honest. Just just under an inch and a half, as you can see. <laughs> uh, just transfer, you can see it's transferred on, but I do like that. Let's give you a quick idea of the size of that. Three quarters of an inch, just over. That's alright, that's nice. Right, we'll put that there. All the rest items are looking too big. This one might be alright, I think the rest are going to be massive. And I was just going to say, who doesn't love a loving cup? Well, that's a fresh break, isn't it? There's no dirt on it or anything. They are big. You can get really big loving cups. It's going in a good pile for now. Right, let's see what else we've got. What's the metal wearing this? I didn't realise I left it with all metal. Oh, good grief. <laughs> a stein or a tankard? Mm -hmm, it's that way. It's probably quite old. Honestly, don't know. I know nothing about those sort of things, but for me... That's just huge. Oh, very deco. Got a firing glaze there. It's obviously, I would think, foreign. Foreign to like UK, obviously. But yeah, that's a keep it. That's all right. Oh, I just found something small inside something else. Hey, it's small. <laughs> And I've still got this nail varnish on my thumb. My sister asked me about it. I just said I was trying out a new nail varnish and I don't have nail varnish remover. So, <laughs> why I did it, I don't know. That's just a lid. Um, obviously, the teapot's no longer with us. But, don't mind the odd lid sitting around. It's alright. It's like a crested wire, isn't it? Not sure. But it's good. That's a good one. So, I'll lay that down there. Right, there's literally three items left after this one. <clears throat> nothing on the bottom, that's a jug. Quite oversized again, but nothing massive, it's not huge. There. Just over one and a half, so that's okay. Another good one, thankfully. I'm pleased it's all got here, okay? Yeah. They packed ceramic items under heavy brass items, it seemed a bit weird, but... pretty isn't it right so that i did think it went with that jug and bowl there you go same mark on the bottom definitely the same design so that's a jug and bowl sorry i'm, I'm trying to do this with the iami camera that's funny oh a little stoneware pot now you see that's oversized but that is gorgeous there you go Nearly two. Yeah, but ooh, I think it's a little stranger. Oh, it is. Oh, you know, I'm very happy with those. I mean, they could be on the floor and, like, they've got flowering and stuff like that. They're lovely. I don't think there's any maker's marks on them. And that's not a chip, it's just the way it's been made. That's a good one. So there. Let me just check the box, there's nothing else in. No. Let's put it back. Right, so let's see how many items that are all together. Because it was difficult to try and count them on camera, as in like, when I was looking at them, so one. Um, we'll count that as two for now. Three, 
31. So that's 31 good items. That are, I mean, they're all good, but for me personally, I know I'll use those. So they're my suspect items. Come to 1, 2, 16 items. So what did I say the other one was? 32? So 32 and 16 is 32, 48, yeah. So 48 items in all. So 32 is good. 16, for me personally, no. <laughs> Although that one, I am going to use. So maybe we could make it 33. And to be fair, I'll use those in one of my other houses. I have enough houses to spread these around. And until I get nice old pewter ones, they'll do. So 33, 34, 35, 36. So 36 items. So I'm going to let you into a secret of what I paid for them. Now, many people probably don't do this, but I'm not embarrassed or shy to say what I paid. So I paid £20 delivery. That's a lot. But it was special delivery. And that included their packaging costs. £55 and £20 packaging. So, I've just said I had 33, so 33, 34, 35, 36 items. So 36 items divided into, uh, what did I just say, 56? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to get to is, they may not be fantastic, some are missing lids, some are too big, they'll probably look alright distributed around the house. Right, got there eventually, I've just done a piece of paper, 35 items, £75 paid, that's 35 items that worked out at £2.13 each item. Yes. So, you have to decide for yourself whether you think that's a good price. If I was in a charity shop, or if I was buying brand new, would I pay more than £2.13 for each item? Yes, I would. I mean, don't get me wrong, that makes one jug and bowl set £4.26. Uh, so that one would be £4.26 because I've ca counted it as two items. So, you've got to look at it that way as well. But, if that was on an auction site, I'm sure as hell I think they pay more than that for it. So, I'm feeling a bit unsure about the size of some of the stuff. Hope you enjoyed this. Ta-ta for now. I've not really worked with old silver before, but I want to make <clears throat> this mustard teaspoon, excuse my voice again, I've still got a cold, into a ladle. It to look a little bit more ladle-like, so yeah, let's hope we can do it without destroying it. <laughs> so, on that note, here goes. Carefully does it, catchy monkey, as they say. It's very hard. It's not moving easily. See, that should really be flatter there. That's what I wanted to do. There. And then. I'm trying not to mark the silver because every time you touch it with one of these, you'll get a dent in it. Right, I'll try my nylon ones. They should have a similar effect. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit more, I think. Take it that way a little bit because I think it was a little bit bent. Yep, there you go. That's more like a ladle now. So before I pickle that, I'll see if I can solder a little ring on the end. As you can see, it is fully hallmarked. Um, rather than I was thinking about drilling a hole, but I think I'll go for the solder. Right. Let's see if we can do this been a while. Right, I've got a little jump ring. Woo. Hopefully that's it. Right, I think that's got it. Um, it just shows you I had to use real solder instead of, I mean, this is real solder, but it's the paste. It didn't seem to work. Um, 
but that stuff did, which is um, solder cut up. So hopefully this will stay on when I fry it a bit. Yeah, that's looking all right, that. A little bit twisted, just a tiny weeny bit, but nothing too much. I could twist that back. Just get around one in there just to neaten it off a little bit. All right, so that's a nice solid tree. So I shall pickle that and then we'll polish it. Right, so that's what pickling does, it sends it all white. So now I've got to clean that off. Well, I think that'll do. There you have it. Little silver ladle. I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but and I have actually marked the silver there. I caught it with the shaft of me Dremel. But hey, I'm going to live with it. I'm quite pleased with that. That looked really nice. That's going in me in me big old house. But for now.